I'm Alexi from Frogshock, and we have Tony, and I'm totally going to mispronounce your name. Kugaluzi. Kugaluzi. So you're from Toronto, you're from Ottawa. MDHR? Yeah, yeah. Uh, studio in Toronto. Toronto? I'm from Ottawa. We're, we're all remote, so yeah. Is there a physical space that nope, you're based nope. in? Nope. So we have, uh, I'm in Ottawa, um, two brothers, uh, Chad is in Oakville, which is like Toronto, um, and Jared is in Regina, in Saskatchewan. Yep. Cool. And uh, you're a lead developer on this awesome game called Cuphead. And we met you guys first at uh, the Microsoft Loft event back in uh, GDC. Yep. yep. Um, so how's it going? Uh, you've been a speaker at Unite earlier this week. And yeah. It's been, uh, it's been a crazy <laughs> week. Yeah, it's been really fun. Um, met a lot of people. Australia's amazing. Like, New Zealanders are amazing. So, like, yeah. It's, no, it's been, yeah, really, really cool. Yeah. How do you find... The whole, you said you were doing a class first PAX. Yeah, that's my first PAX too. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, it's awesome. Like, it's, I didn't expect to see so many people, like, I guess it is a consumer facing event. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so huge. Um, but it's, yeah, it's massive. And it just feels really cool to kind of be on the floor looking at all this stuff going on and stuff. It's, it's a really cool experience. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a look later. Uh, walk around, see your game. Uh, check out Sodi as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on the show floor, it's super loud and crazy in there. Yeah, it's pretty loud. Uh, like, how was it for? Do you do you do the whole like walk out on stage and talk to? No, not often. You, was yeah. it your first? No. Okay, so I, in in Ottawa we have a bunch of um, like game dev meetups and stuff, and we have we have some small um, uh, conferences as well. Um, mm. And I've done a few talks at like these conferences and these meetups and stuff, but never anything like Unite. And then back in Boston, that was the first time they got me to, to go on stage. Um, that was scary as hell. Like, <laughs> I was terrified. And it was awesome, though. Like, it was still a really good experience. And then this time was just, I was, I was terrified again. But then after getting on stage and kind of, everyone was really chill here. Everyone was chill in Boston, too. But it, I felt a really amazing vibe in Australia. And so getting on, like, even backstage, we were all joking and, and kind of, you know, um, and then after I got on stage, it just felt so good. And yeah. it was just fun. It was just fun. Like, it was really exciting. So, yeah. Yeah, cool. What are your meetups like? You, said, you were saying before, it's yeah, yeah. super small. And then that's, what, that's where Cuphead came out of? No, no. So, OK, so I'm not actually one of the original guys on Cuphead. Um, I was brought on after. Um, OK. But after a bunch of things happened, I was made lead developer on the project and, and stuff like that. Um, but our meetups in, in like, Ottawa, you, yeah, I don't know about OK. Um, <laughs> so that's, like. Uh, it's a bunch of us, you know, it's usually um, anywhere from 40, like, 80 people. No, I'd say 40, like, 70 people. Uh, we just meet up in a bar once a month. Um, it's really, really cool, like, small Russian bar. There's, like, propaganda all over the walls. <laughs> so it has crazy awesome character. It's so cool. The, the bartender is, like, like Ray from Russia. He's just a super awesome guy. His name's Alexi, too. Oh, really? Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just, it's cool. Like, we have, a, we have like, a, there's, like, a dip in the back. Um, where we set up a bunch of chairs and like a projector and stuff and play games and just like chill. Sometimes we have speakers come in and like talk to the, the group and stuff. Um, it's really cool. It's like it kind of draws together Ottawa's community mm. and like lets us all like meet each other and get to know each other, right? So yeah, because we have meetups in Auckland as well. Yeah. Um, uh, but they're kind of. It sounds like your ones are community driven. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. just decides this is the meetup and we're gonna go and hang out and drink and play games and yep. stuff. Um, I guess a bit different in Northland, there are actually NZDDA organized, so it's a bit more oh, okay, yeah. um, official. It's still always made for like game developers and indies, and um, we have speakers come in, uh, it's once a month, yeah. uh, and there's like student games or just indie games on display, uh, and that's where we came out of, uh, you know, prototyped a game and took it to one of those, and we've been going to that ever since, and like refining and... Uh, now that what Saudi's become, um, but yeah, we, we we yeah, sounds like like it's important yeah, to yeah, have yeah. those those spaces where game devs meet and oh yeah yeah no it, it's really important to have like little things like that because um, it kind of you know you, like you said you, did you guys not know each other before these meetups? Uh, we did. Uh, I guess it's a little different for us. <laughs> uh, we worked together and studied together sort of thing, so um, we kind of preformed. Uh, like our company came out of the friendship and the common interest um, but it's more like the, our game was went through that community part, like yeah, uh, yeah. grinder uh, to form it and shape it sort of thing so 
Yeah, kind of like those parallels are very, yeah, yeah, yeah. very interesting. It's, that's always important to have, like having a big group to kind of, you know, even for feedback, mm -hmm. right? It's just um, a lot of really cool stuff has come out of Audible like that too, because uh, for, well, for example, the, um, well, we have uh, Keep Talking, Nobody Explodes, um, yeah, which started yeah. as a global game jam thing. Yeah. Um, we are all just doing global game jam at a, uh, a, one, of the call, or one of the schools in Ottawa. Um, and these guys came up with this amazing game. And, oh my shirt's like a button. <laughs> Anyways, um, these guys, by the end of Global Game Jam, they had this really cool thing. And everyone knew that it was going to be like a special thing because after that, we had this, everyone was just like testing and playing games and stuff. And they had, they, were, they started recording like, some, like a group of people playing their game. And suddenly the entire room, which is like a massive room, like maybe not as big as this, but it's, it's really big. And they're just, they're playing a the game, they, they lose, and the, the bomb explodes and stuff, but then everyone, you hear everyone explode with like, oh no, and then the camera pans around, and there's like at least 150 people in this room, just yeah. looking around, and it's just, and that sort of thing, like, we, we kind of realized, everyone realized from, from that community that this, this sort of thing would really mm -hmm. kick off, right? Um, and it's really cool to have that, that sort of community feel, yeah. and have, have people able to give feedback, and it's just, it's so cool. It, it feels like, you know, uh, like you're doing something that if, if you know like you're doing something that people will like and they and they then they do like it it kind of you know makes you want to move forward with it uh, if yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it proves it, like your proof of concept actually gets proof exactly proof yeah, yeah. Of, like yeah, yeah. proven that it's 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 fun people enjoy it yeah 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 it's just Ottawa is it's a cool city like it's things are happening there it's, it's pretty sweet but here though like I'm, I'm feeling it's uh, crazy here <laughs> yeah they've got um, you went to the arcade, check it out. I did, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Super cool. Um, they're trying to start something similar in Auckland, um, obviously on a smaller scale because we don't have the kind of established companies that can sustain themselves to yeah. pay for, for space because the arcade is like a, um, you know, it's an office space. They pay for an office space. Yeah, and, yeah, exactly. Uh, but it's just like having everyone together, it's um, really nice. And yeah, so, so actually, the we're whale guys. And yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Giga geeks guys, and everyone's just the awesome spaces. Yeah, again, about community, right? Like having all these companies, and and even just like a bunch of indies. Well, I mean, most people there are like mm. indies, right? But uh, just in one space, right? You can go to the next room over and be like, hey guys, like, do you want to play test? My yeah, thing? Do you are, yeah, 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 or just chill, and uh, I don't know. Um, we we're doing, we we're planning on doing the exact same thing in Ottawa, actually, too, because um, it's a, it's an amazing idea, and you so many you can feed off so many things, and just like things will. Things just seem like they'll grow so much with a good community that's always together and, and working and stuff. Right? But um, like we, there was a few of us actually that looked at like a, a small, small office space. It was like maybe um, a tiny, I, as big as like one of the offices in in the, uh, the arcade here. And we were gonna, we were planning on like just you know renting this place out, giving everyone like fob access or something if they like pay a certain amount of money and whatever, and just kind of having it as like an unofficial co-op space and yeah. then possibly growing from that. Mm. Um, but we all got super busy, super fast for somehow. I don't even remember, like, we just all kind of, we were all really on board and then suddenly just, yeah, um, yeah. So I'd love to revisit that idea though. Yeah, we had an opportunity to get a office space, but it kind of, we work at a home. Yeah, yeah. So um, it cuts down all the, you know, doubling up on bills, yeah, uh, yeah. travel costs, extra utilities and stuff like that. Um, so for now, while we're not self-sustaining, we, we can just do that. Uh, and see what happens. Yeah. Do you guys work on many um, just game jam games outside yes. Cuphead? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, like us at MDHR. Yeah. Um, not together. No. I, I've actually really wanted to bring that up with the other guys because I feel like we could come up with some really cool stuff. Um, we've talked about other ideas and stuff, and, and we. The thing is, I've I've never really worked remote from a team before, mm -hmm. um, and when all of us started working together, we just kind of meshed yeah. really, really well. And so I really want to. Um, see if they'll be up for some sort of game jam sometime, like a global game jam or something. Yeah, you yeah. know, that would be the perfect one. Um, because I feel like we could come up with something pretty cool. Uh, but no, we haven't done it yet. Yeah, Kinda yeah. Sucks. How how does it feel working remote? Because I was like, I was skeptical at first. I was really skeptical. Kept keeping um, schedule, keeping you know, sort yeah, of disciplined, and it's it's, oh, it's man, the it's, hardest part. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, for working from home in the first place is just mm. yeah, really tough. But then having everyone else all over Canada is kind of really. I actually I think. We're all we're all Canadian, and then all the animators are from the U.S. somewhere. Um, but yeah, I know it's it's actually fine. Like it's it's not too bad uh, as long as you can manage your time properly. Um, like we'll have 
sometimes we'll just plan meetings you know, like far in advance to make sure everyone can make it. And sometimes they're at like six o'clock in the afternoon, or sometimes they're at like three or two or whatever. Um, but we usually plan like a good time ahead so we can all like yeah. kind of uh, make it and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's actually it's actually really good. Like it's I'm I'm loving it. It's really yeah. really cool. Cool. Yeah, because uh, it's like for us at the moment, it's important to have to be in, uh, have everyone together. Yeah, yeah. Because um, there's like all the constant communication and you know decision making, the you know the arguments, the whatever, like yeah. to figure out what's the best thing to you know uh, get rid of all the bad ideas and to uh, you know move forward. Yeah, uh, it's really important. So yeah, I don't I don't know if we would be able to like uh, work remote. Um, so no, I, I get what yeah, I get you mean. Yeah. So we actually all met up for the first time at GDC. Okay. Um, we'd never met. Well, okay, they'd met their brothers. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, I'd never met them before, uh, and so we met up there. We had we had so much stuff to do before the Microsoft Loft event. Um, so we had we were like working on the building nonstop. We were just mm. in random places like random uh, Starbucks and just cafes all over the place, just kind of yeah. working on. You know, we'd be sitting there, three of us with our laptops out, <laughs> controllers plugged in everywhere, and then baristas walking by us, and like you know, it was just kind of <laughs> we didn't really fit into that environment, but it was really cool once we got into the zone sort of thing. Um, po point is, uh, we'd always, we'd been working remote up till then, but when we were actually in person, we managed to get so much done so fast. Yeah, um, yeah. I feel like, you know, that would be... Ideal. It, yeah, so. if, yeah, if we were, because, you know, working remote does have its downfalls. And like you said, like, having, being able to get that instant feedback, mm. that's, you know, that's important. Um, but yeah, the remote thing works for now. Um, if, if the opportunity ever came up for that, like that sort of thing, I think, like, we'd probably all jump on it maybe I don't know uh, yeah. that's tough to say but like it, yeah, it, just it would... gotta release the game first and see, yeah, that's, see if that's... you can afford to actually move yep. cities <laughs> that's, and that's priority countries yeah. Never mind. yeah so how did how did you come come up with the Cuphead uh, so they concept? Cause yeah, yeah so it was all them um, they I don't really know actually uh, I don't know I'm not, I'm not quite sure they <laughs> I've seen a bunch of their interviews. Because you you you're a lead developer, but you also yeah. went to animation school, so you. I did, yeah. yeah I have a traditional animation background. Um, yeah. So do you do any of the art for the game? No, not no, at all. No, okay. no. Um, I <laughs> I have an eye for stuff, but like I I don't think I'd be able to you know you would come close to them. Right. Right. Because um, they're all very very talented animators. Um, but yeah, it's I don't know. <laughs> I don't even I don't even really consider myself an animator anymore. Like I was never really good at it in the first place. Um, but I graduated as one, and I guess like kind of went from there. It's good having that knowledge, though. It, having it that is, knowledge in yeah. a game like this, like it's really, really good. Because the, the more you know what other people's roles are and what they involve and what they require, the more you can kind of prepare your yeah, work, yeah, work yeah. to kind of mesh together with what they're doing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, because yeah, you probably get a lot of that uh, that it doesn't even look like a game; it's just an yep. interactive yeah, that's, animation. That's what we run with a lot. Like. Um, that was something I touched on at Unite. Like, I feel like, if anything, Cuphead is really at the forefront of the whole games that don't look like games. I wouldn't say movement, but like that that era of mm. games. Because um, you look at things like like South Park, the game, right? And uh, you look at it, and you're, it's like you're watching the cartoon. Yeah, which I is was incredible. the first time I I it was watching like South Park on YouTube or something, and it was on autoplay. Yeah. And when it came to that. I thought I was watching an episode. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I just like, yeah, yeah, that's really... And I couldn't understand, like, what is happening? There was something a little off about it, because uh, I thought the whole menu stuff, the UI, you know, where they select, yeah. um, I thought that was part of the way they're mocking games. Yeah, 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 games. Like, they do a lot of episodes and, like that. Because really. they do that kind of stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, yeah, it, it, was, it was funky. It was really awesome. That, yeah, that's a perfect example. Like, it, it's, <laughs> you literally will not know unless you're playing it or you're seeing it directly in your you, go into the situation knowing. Um, and I think we're going to start seeing like a lot more stuff like that. Um, yeah. Actually, okay. I'm, maybe not, but I hope <laughs> we go in that direction because that's a that's a direction we've never been able to go in with games and I think it has a huge potential to pull in people that don't usually watch mm. or play games, right? Um, and I was actually, I was talking to someone, I don't remember who I was talking to, but I, it, what came up was the fact that... Um, you know, you could you could be playing this game, and your mom could be sitting there watching you play it and enjoying it instead mm -hmm. of like, you know, it wouldn't apply for us or something, but like a kid or something on there. Um, but the thing is, these games are starting to be driven, and this is a lot because of uh, streaming and all that stuff, uh, and let's plays that are becoming huge. But yeah. games so, are starting to be driven by 
um, not just the player, but the people who are going to be watching it, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's kind of an interesting situation we're, we're getting ourselves into. Mm, mm. So you can like watch someone play, but you're not watching someone play the game. You're watching You're watching a piece of entertainment. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I mean, arguably, right now, like Call of Duty and all that kind of stuff is also that, but it's not yeah, yeah. quite that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's what started it, right? Yeah, but, like uh, compared to Cuphead, it would be like watching a cartoon. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like, there's, uh, there's a lot of games now that are being designed with streamers in mind, mm. whereas, as, oh, I guess, you know, Call of Duty and stuff like that, they are too, because they're, they're really starting to get into the whole esports thing. Mm. Um, but games are actually being designed with, with spectators in mind. Like, Dota is very, very focused on spectators now too, right? Yeah. Like, stuff like that. Um, and it's kind of, it's really shaping the way games kind of play out. And, like, there was a lot of design decisions in, I don't play Dota, but, nah. so I don't, I don't, <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like, it's too hardcore. Yeah, it's that, that group of, oh man, I can't do it. Um, I suck way too bad. Um, but, like, uh, it, they, there are conscious design decisions in that game that are built around the spectators. Like, um, I guess you can have, like, a, a, I don't know, unlimited spectators or something in a, in a match or something like that, okay. but, um, and you and there and there's like the roles of uh, like ref or something. I don't I don't know I don't even know they they, they have so much stuff built in though mm. just for spectator stuff. Um, it's it's kind of cool. It's it makes it yeah, kind of interesting. Yeah. If if not for cup, cup heads, what would you be working on? Um, probably freelance stuff still and my own stuff. Like it's. Uh, what are your own stuff? So I have <laughs> I have a few unannounced things that I've been working on. Um, projects that I've been doing for like not insanely long, but like. Uh, I'm working on it in my own spare time, just as passion projects sort of things. Um, like one I have, it's, it's just this, this uh, 3D platformer, like puzzle game, um, that uh, it's, it's gone through like five iterations. Like I've just restarted it five times. Not because, mostly because I'm, I'm not planning on releasing it ever. I'm just kind of doing it for myself and like for fun. But mm. if it ever gets to that point, I would maybe, you know, put more effort into it. Um, but it's just like a fun thing for me. Uh, but other than that, like for work, I'd probably just be freelancing and stuff. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of tool development in Unity, like mm -hmm. that stuff. Um, so that actually, you know, went pretty well for me. So I might even just still be in that. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah. All right. So you want to go to Showflow? Yeah. yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yep. Yeah. So we'll just go over there. All right. Actually, getting into like the, the thick of it. Yeah, and the space is huge. Oh man! Just check the, check this out. God, it's so big to walk around in there. That's the. I've been complaining about it so much. Like <laughs> literally. Oh god. Because um, yeah, I always forget that PAX is not just the show floor. Because we are all like all day, the whole weekend on the show floor. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they have the talks and panels and workshops and all this sort of stuff. Uh, where the show floor closes at six, but all of the other stuff just keeps going until about 11 at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're already entering like the loud, yeah, this the is loud like... territory with lots of people. Oh yeah, this is like... Some dense what, stuff. Yeah, what is this? Is it like, like DDR? Some dance thing. Yeah. I wonder if it's uh, Kinect or something. Oh, maybe, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the guy I was talking about. Oh, yeah? What was he dressed up as? I don't... It's the bad, most badass costume I've seen here, though. The red one? Yeah, the red guy, yeah, yeah. Do you want to ask him? Yeah, yeah. First of all, amazing. Looks so good. What? What is it? Like, what are you... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, cool. Looks red. awesome. So no, I saw you with it outside. It looks so good, man. Cool. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Cheers. All right, thanks. Yeah, okay, so I've been to like, I've been to like Comic-Con and all that stuff. Actually, no, I don't even think I've been to a Comic-Con. Like Fan Expo in, in Canada and all that stuff. Um, seeing all of the, like there's a lot of good cosplays here. It's really, really cool. Yeah, we have a much smaller event uh, in New Zealand called Armageddon. Right, that right. was actually just the weekend we left uh, to Melbourne yep. uh, last weekend. And um, they, they have an, uh, like just so much cosplayers. Because it's kind of like Comic Con, right, right. yeah. It's very much like I think they're even trying to rebrand it as Comic Con. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And yeah, it's just lots and lots of people, crazy like homemade giant foam things and uh, really high quality stuff. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's so cool. Like, I love, like, people, you know that people are putting <laughs> so much time into this stuff. Um, like, yep, sorry. After, yeah. you know, in their spare time, like, putting everything into it to make it look amazing. And it's just, it's so impressive. Yeah. Yeah, like, look at this guy. Yes. What's going on? He's just taking some hobbits to Isengard. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's like perfect. Crazy guy. That's so good. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, let's check out, uh, let's check out ID at Xbox. Oh, shit. Going in, with fans and Go. All right, so this is gonna be loud. Yep. Gonna... Yeah, this is crazy. Hey, and this is Adam from hey. New Zealand. How's it going? Yeah, What's check going out uh, Project Ascension. Yes, I have a card. It's an old one, but emotion theory. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you very much. We're just doing uh, an episode with Tony from Cuphead. Oh, cool. Nice to meet you, Tony. Yeah. yeah. Hey. There we're we gonna go. we're gonna go check out Xbox. Cool. Sweet. All right. I'll, I'll see yeah. you tomorrow. Yeah, he's one of the local devs in, from Auckland. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's funny. Okay. So I told you about this, but I might as well say it again, for like this. Uh, the fact that I've ba basically only met New Zealanders here. Yeah. Including all you guys. Like it's. I've barely met any Australians in Melbourne. Just because you guys are off. Yeah. No. I can't such a good turnout. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. Um, it's awesome to see like the student teams come over as well. Because um, hell, if I was if I was a student and I was coming to something like this, you know, the amount of experience you get just from participation and exposure to these kind of things, like because uh, students are usually so uh, isolated in their courses and, and just don't get to know what it's really like. Yeah, they, uh, they get like kind of. Uh... I lost the word. I had a word for it. Uh, <laughs> but no, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah like tunnel visioned into, tunnel, yeah, 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 yeah. into like their dream game, which is always yes. bigger than life. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, just talking to other devs and getting reassurances about, you know, like they're doing the right thing. Yeah, like, yeah. well, exactly. you know, encouragement. Yeah, so here's Cuphead over here. And it's really busy. It's a big, yeah. It's a big boom. It's looking pretty awesome. Um, so now... <laughs> They have like two different builds up, so that kind of threw me. When I saw it, there's like there's like two different builds. It's weird to watch. It's really, really weird to watch. It's feels good though. It feels it feels good. It does feel yeah. good. Uh, do any of them have two controllers? Is this one? No. Oh, this one has two controllers. Okay. Okay, cool. Can we both play? You want to play too? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah let's try it. Cool. The animations look amazing. Yeah, the artists are really, really talented. Every, every time I get assets from this game, like, the artist will give me assets and I'm just like, holy fuck, I can't believe I'm working on this. This looks so good. <laughs> it's so amazing. I love, like, standing here without anyone knowing that I'm the developer. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's just funny. It's, it's funny. like the, the spy, you're the spy. Yeah, I'm the spy. I'm the spy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> just, it's hilarious. All right. So we're playing Cuphead. Yeah. <laughs> Develop a commentary. Yeah, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll do that. All right, let's try. It's actually the boss I've been working on lately. Oh, actually, it's gonna be broken. This build doesn't even have it. All right, let's do this. We'll do this. This is a good one. The dragon. All right. Uh, so jump. Uh, a to jump. X to shoot. Uh, right bumper to hold yourself in place. To to aim. Like you can use the yeah. Um, and then don't die. <laughs> Basically. Oh, this is actually a tough level. Because um, uh, if you fall down, you get hurt. Oh, oh, yeah. oh shit. I died. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's start that. Oh, so once I'm dead, I'm out. Yeah, yeah. So, no, we have a mechanic to get you back in. Um, I'm not sure if it's in this build because this is an old one. But uh, in the future, like, see, okay, see these pink ones? Here, I'll try to do it. No, I can't do it. Um, every, every pink bullet, you can parry it. So I can jump up and jump up. Oh, I didn't think I can do it. Like that. See that? Right. Um, so that gives you parry stuff, which is the meter under your your, your health. Um, that UI is going to change. It's all kind of temporary right now. Um, but that allows us to do things like this and your special stuff. And when the bar is full, oh, I died. See if you can parry my ghost. No, you can't do it. So yeah, this, this is an old build. But in the future builds, you can parry my ghost, or okay. I can parry your ghost and bring me back to life. Oh, with one health. Okay. So you can tell it's an old build because like we have a, a new character on the map. 
Like he's he's not even there, so it's kind of okay. okay. So this one's a flying level. Yeah. So this one, you're actually in planes. Oh shit! Yeah, there we go. All right. Any special <laughs> controls there? No, no, it's the exact same. Okay. So just don't die. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is a really hard old one. You can't even party in this yet. So in this build, this this plane stuff is just half finished. Um, in the in the more current builds, we have like an actual full. Oh, we died. Uh, we, have, we have a full working like party system, and you can shrink and grow to like avoid things, but your 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 shots do less damage and stuff. And we have like special screws and stuff like that. Um, do you want to do the, uh, the tutorial? So we're this isn't what we're gonna have in the in the final game. We're gonna have other things. Um, like we're actually gonna have a full like good tutorial, but this is just something we threw together for demo purposes, just to make sure that people get the gist of the, the stuff. So yeah, you can change, you can change Okay, your, I just uh, realized that I can Your weapon, yeah, yeah. That's actually a pretty good weapon. It's really OP in this version, actually. We've taken it down a lot. I love um, the snapping, like that it's just, you know, you shoot out of your finger. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I change weapons with that. Um, and then over here, we just keep walking this way. So locking in place lets you aim in certain directions, right? Um, and then you can duck too, and aim. Yeah, right, that's, so this that's, is the parry. Yeah, yeah, so that's actually supposed to, this is supposed to be right here. <laughs> we, right. We fuck it surreal for that. Um, and then more, and then newer builds, that it works properly. But yeah, so you can jump onto that, and then see how it fills your super meter up at the top. Um, you can keep, you don't have to land after doing it either, you can just keep going. But uh, if, once you get enough super, you can just... Oh, what did so I just that's, do? That's your super with the spread shot, so you got the two weapons. Um, I'm sorry, that's your X, so you get... That's the so the equivalent of this, but for your other weapon. Uh, everything for that is way too big. We're actually taking that down, so it's like incredibly broken. But uh, yeah. Um, so there's the slap. There's your special. Uh, there's the oh, there's the quick the dash, which is your Y button. Uh, oh, I hit the I hit the exit. Yeah. All right, we're good to go. All right, let's do this one. We'll, we'll do this one. All right. This is this is the easy level, the easiest one. So you can so look everything pink. So watch watch when he shoots a worm out. Uh, I am probably uh, ready. <laughs> shit. Do you wanna restart? Is there a way to um, bring for the back? dead player to get back in? Is that not planned? not in this build. Uh, in the in the next like this this build over here, yeah. Um, okay. but in this one, no. It wasn't in yet. Oh that's awesome. Like they get prepared yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's trying to make it really old timey. Like we even have like a narrator um, like like yelling it. <laughs> Funny. Oh shit. Ah, yeah, we're done. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Alright, let's cool. yeah, let yeah. these guys yeah, yeah. Oh man, so many good games. I wanna check out um uh below. I have not played it and it's not the best to play it here in this environment because it's, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta really play it in a quiet space. It seems and like one dark of those, those couch games. Like yeah, you, you yeah. put five hours into it on a couch by yourself. Right? Yeah, and like it just looks so beautiful. Um, you, you, you go. Yeah, yeah. You're never gonna be this close to the screen when you're playing this game, right? Yeah, no. And I mean, that's the whole point. Is you're supposed to be really far away. That's they got the aesthetic looking perfect for that. But it even looks it looks really good up close too. Yeah. For the longest time, though, I thought this game was gonna be pixel art. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it's it's a beautiful like I think the backgrounds are all pre rendered. Um, like it's all two. That's all two D. Oh, maybe most of it. But like, oh shit, it looks so good. Well, it would have been done in three D at least. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah, and then pre rendered out, and then put on. Yeah, do we want to move on to something yeah, else? Yeah, all right, yeah. Cool. Look at this guy. It's amazing. It's really cool. Do you do comics? Comics? Yeah. yeah. Uh, not really. No. Okay. Yeah. Is that a, is that a thing in Canada? Like uh, in Russia, I didn't grow up with comics at oh, all. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, nah, maybe a little bit. Like, it's graphic novels, I think, are more popular. Yeah. Um, I, guess, I guess that's why I'm really not into those superhero movies either. Oh yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> I love 
have that in my room, it would be amazing. That would be a waste of space. It would be a waste of space. <laughs> it would be cool for like the first two days. Yeah. So. <laughs> Alright. Some Mario Maker? Nintendo? Yeah. Shit. Oh, like, have you seen some of the crazy levels they posted? Yeah. Oh this uh, thing where you can share a code with your level and... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, you can build a level and you share the code and everybody right. entering that code uh, will load your level up and they can play within it. Oh, man. So people make all these crazy puzzles or, like, traps and uh, all that kind of stuff or just, like, art, building yeah. art using in-game um, assets and stuff. Right, so, right, yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. I, it's I it's one of the ones it. I, want, I really want to get. Uh, like it's this and Splatoon are kind of the next on my list, but this looks really good. Yeah, we don't have a, um, a Nintendo console, so yeah, don't think I'll be playing it anytime soon. Right. I would never line up no, for something like, like that. Man, why would you want to, anyways? Like, you're you're gonna get this game. This game's gonna come out. You're gonna sink a lot of hours into it. The beginning is one of the most important parts. Why would you not ruin any of that? Yeah, like, and most of the, like a lot of the times you'd be lined up just to see the trailer or something. Or it's that, like, yeah, what exactly. The hell? Like it's, just yeah, watch it's it on YouTube the next day. Exactly. Okay, yeah. this way? Ah, uh, yeah. Head towards the indie stuff, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's check out all the indies. Like for me, okay, um, I think I might have told you my Fallout story. Did I tell you my Fallout story? No? Nah? Oh, shit. Or sorry, my Skyrim story. Okay. Did I, I didn't tell you? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, so when Skyrim, I, I'm a huge, huge Elder Scrolls fan, um, and Skyrim kind of like. I loved Oblivion, I loved Morrowind. Uh, Skyrim was, was, it looked really good, but I figured, okay, you know what? They're going more towards the, the, the casual, casual hardcore gamer crowd, I guess, or whatever. And I'm like, okay, a lot of things are doing, it's really stupid. So I didn't think Skyrim was gonna be good. So, um, oh shit, this is gonna be, uh, this is gonna be online. I shouldn't tell this story, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get Point is, point is, I, I went into it without, without thinking it was gonna be good. I, I, I got it in like in class like uh, we were in a computer lab for class and I just downloaded it on the computer um, through Steam and I was like this is stupid I made a dumb looking character with a stupid name and I ended up putting seven hours into it in the computer lab went home that night put it into my computer at home put another like 20 hours into it in a row yeah. like straight I didn't <laughs> sleep and then missed like the next two days of school because I was just playing this game yeah. and it's so games like that, games like Fallout coming out, I can't, I don't, I would never want to ruin it for myself, because that experience is so good, yeah. right? It's just, oh, God. I, that's why I would never line up for something like that either. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, insane. yeah. Um, yeah. Just What's to put in perspective just how much, how many indies are there. Yeah. Just starting from that yellow cafe sign up there, all of this um, is indie boots all the way to the end of that wall. Um, it's crazy. It's it twice amazing. the size it was last year. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. So, um, which which are your favorite games here? Have yeah, you yeah. played? Um, have you played the one more line? It's like super simple. One more line. Yeah. No, no. It's uh, basically you you traveling in, in, in a straight line, and there are nodes, and once you press the button, you kind of latch onto the nodes okay. and spin around them to correct your course. Oh, okay. Um, okay. it's really cool because you can play with four players. Oh, sweet. Uh, it's kind of like asynchronous play at the same time rather than you're not playing like uh, on the same course. You'll right, right. you see what I mean. Okay. Um, there's another awesome game called Death Squared. Oh yeah, everyone yeah, else is, like, it's so the... good. Like puzzles are super smart. It seems really cool, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I played it yesterday. Yeah. And um it's just really, really smart. Yeah. Um, and then there's a, a, a four player mode. But it's kind of it's for it's more like four character mode, okay. um, where it's still two player, but um, uh, you kind of control one cube with left stick and another cube with the right stick. Right. Oh, uh, so oh, okay. like you just totally get so confused and screwed up every time because uh, you can't really like you move one and something happens on the other level and some other cube uh, destroys itself. Right. Right. Oh, have you tried, um, oh, what was it? Uh, Incredible Journey of You and I? Ah, uh, no. Oh, man, it's really good. Really good. All right, let's check this out yeah, first. Yeah. It's a co-op game. Where you, uh, 
you each play as so someone's someone's controlling the movement, someone's controlling the shooting, uh, but there are regions in the level that change the roles. Yeah. And, and every every enemy has it can either be destroyed by one, uh, one color, or each color. Like you're gonna have to hit it with you know one color and then the other one. But see when you go into different regions, it changes your color. Oh uh, yeah yeah yeah. It's really good. The demo they have is really, really cool because they have uh, the end sequence is like a, a boss. You're, you're running from a boss, and it, it keeps you like, it really gets you used to the whole the switching mechanic because it's just, it's so like, like rushed. It's really cool. Yeah, it's awesome. The art style is super simple. Somewhat makes yeah, yeah. me think of, um, you know, because it's all 2D and really floaty sort of thing. Um, Love is an adventure space time. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's what it's called. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so yeah, good. Yeah. I played it for the first time at PAX in Boston. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, and yeah, it's just really, it's amazing. really nice. It's such a good game. Um, we have something in Toronto called Gamer Camp. Well, we did. It's not, it's not a thing anymore. Um, but last year was its last year, and they had it on display there. And it was just amazing. It's so good. Mm. Um, also, along those lines, uh, oh, shit, what is it? Robot basketball? I can't even remember what Oh, it's yeah, called. yeah, Robot oh, Basketball that's, that's by a, the Crawl guys. That's an Australian thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the guys who did Crawl. Oh, um, is it the Crawl? Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it was a jam hope. game. And then they, yeah, 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 right, right. It's so, amazing, so amazing. Oh, yeah, oh, um, I just love those uh, co-op or you know uh, co-op games where you play and uh, you don't even you enter this mode where you're just aware of, yeah, yeah. of everything that's happening yeah, and yeah. all the team, all the things that your teammates are doing. So you just play and you don't even need to talk to each other because you just can tell because you know who's supposed to be doing what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, 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 done really, really well. Like, kind of, if you played Artemis. Artemis. It's like Sorry. a um, space deck simulator. It's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like a physical, like, isn't it like a physical room? There is one, yeah, oh, yeah but okay. that's like hardcore. Oh, but everyone has their computer. own, okay. like, little um, uh, console, right, and right. everyone's responsible for stuff. Uh, like a hardcore yeah. space team? Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It even has, like, uh, you meant to have one central screen, right, uh, right. which is kind of like your... Um, you know, windshield type thing, oh, okay. so you can see uh, like the space and the oh, okay, other okay. things. But you can project maps onto it as well. Oh shit! Wow. Yeah, I know. I, I haven't played it, but I really want to. Like, it's it's one of those games that looks like really, really interesting. It's really fun. Um, I love like simulation games like that that put you in a crazy kind of environment. That you know, you see the stuff in sci-fi, but now suddenly you're able to experience that entire yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's so cool. yeah, it's like you get to role play. Uh, exactly. Exactly. The, yeah. The, the sci-fi realities. Yeah. Mm. It's really neat. Alright, yeah. 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 That's our game. Looks great. Looks really good. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a local multiplayer physics brawler. We've got two machines set up today, uh, four players each. Now, we've been working on this for two years now. Yeah. So. Well, it's looking really great. It's looking so good. And it plays great. It plays great, too. It's really fun. Yeah, just entering the, the, the crunch mode of really dense development. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Getting it ready for Xbox, getting it ready for Steam integration, yep, yep. all that kind of stuff. Gonna be exciting. Yeah, yeah. All right, I think I gotta, I think I gotta <laughs> get back to the booth and yeah, okay, and, okay. and get <laughs> relieve these guys. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That was that's fun. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I'll see you in Toronto or San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, around, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Come to Ottawa. Come to Ottawa for anything, right? Yeah, it'll be awesome. Cool. Go skiing. Snow? Oh yeah, there's yeah, tons of snow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah sweet. Yeah, sure. Cool. All right. Sweet. Cool. See ya. Okay, yeah. <laughs>